everyone continuing fighting for my life. So I was talking about how profound it is that God could heal us all by himself, but he chooses to bring people into our lives who are trained up in these ways, in these particular healing biblical programs. They are part of our healing. And oh my goodness, one married couple in particular, I mean people all through my life, but the most recent over the years, and of course our friendships are trusted friendships big time, you know, God calls us to call one another up higher. You know, when I get on the, a phone call with a friend, yes, I want to give them the gift of listening because they have things on their heart. Last night, I needed to reach out to a friend who just listened to me. And then when I was finished, she said, you know, when we pray, and I said, I'm ready to pray. She said, when you're finished, I said, I'm finished. And I needed to be heard, and then I needed to be prayed for. And that's ministry. It's this This other married couple that did a lot of biblical healing with me they've studied many things and then they brought their prophetic gifts into it wow mamash we say in hebrew wow 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 amazing so we're not called to be an island unto ourselves unless you're called to be a monk or a nun to live in complete solitude only with the lord okay and that's a calling just like being married is a calling everything it's a calling. However God calls, it's a calling, and we need to respond. And my friend today was sharing about the importance of responsiveness, and I said, oh, yes, that's the key word because it's a partnership with Yeshua. It's a dance of life with Yeshua. Let's not play down our part. We are to respond. We're the responder. Nothing could happen if we don't respond to the living God. So don't be ashamed of your humanity. God's not. Yes, he calls us up higher. He calls us to have a bird's eye view. He doesn't want us to have hooks in us from things that happened in the past of the enemy. You know, I was talking about how in my Moving the Telling series yesterday, the way we can know if we've been healed emotionally is that when the enemy comes knocking on our door again, when we can step back and go, oh, there's another way of handling this. I don't have to react. I can respond. We know we've been healed. When we don't even have an option, it's just a knee-jerk response or reaction, we know we, we still need more healing. But the enemy will try to tell you that you're not healed because he'll just try to bring up the past. Condemnation is not has nothing to do with God. God says in his, in his word, therefore there is now no condemnation in Messiah Yeshua. It's under the blood. Your past is under the blood. We have been redeemed if we've received Yeshua as our promised Jewish Mashiach and our Lord and Savior. We have been redeemed. Don't let the enemy pull you back. I love this scripture. Yeshua said, whoever puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. And that's very powerful because to me, what that means for me is, if I've received the forgiveness of God and now I'm moving forward in the things of God, if I keep allowing the enemy of my soul, the liar, to pull me back, the accuser, he's got nothing good to say, if I keep letting him pull me back to the things that I've been forgiven for, I'm not fit because I'm double-minded. I'm in the past, I'm in the future. I'm in the past, I'm in the future. Make a decision today. Make a decision whose voice you're going to listen to. You know, when you give the gift of listening, you help your friend move through their struggle much quicker. Don't try to correct your friend. Don't tell them how to talk. I mean, unless you're being abusive and you're just spitting, spitting out venom. I mean, no one has to stand for that. But if you're just, you're upset and you're sharing what you're going through, listen to your friend. Because... I haven't arrived until I've arrived. Until then, I'm born of the Spirit, born of above, but I am still a human being with all my emotions up, down, and sideways. So I bless you. Accept yourself, child of God. You are a human. You have the Spirit of the living God living in you. He's bringing you from strength to strength, right? Correct. Glory to glory. But don't reject your humanity. That grieves God's heart. You are truly one of a kind. Your heart is so precious to God that the spirit of the living God chose to live within your one of a kind heart, which I love to refer to as the garden of the Lord. Be loving and gentle to yourself today. Receive and accept yourself as the beautiful one of a kind masterpiece that God has created 
in you. In Yeshua's name, God bless you from the city of the great king, Yerushalayim.